the meeting is officially in session. Okay guys, we need to be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The old bandit could be planning an attack. Who knows, he might even have a spy in Rosebrook at this very moment. If the old bandit has a spy, how are we supposed to find out who it is? Okay everyone, meeting dismissed. Let's all be on the lookout for anything strange. If you see anything, come here and report it immediately. Goodness gracious. Now that had to be the worst night of sleep I've ever had. I didn't sleep that good either. This old shed is not as comfortable as the main sheds. I am not even talking about comfort. This place is just outright creepy. I felt like we were being watched the entire night. Don't worry. It was probably just your imagination. Now come on, let's get going. We have a train to pull. Okay, Dominic, if you say so. Okay, the signal is green now. Let's get moving. The sheds! They're gone! <sighs> it's a real shame. The sheds burned down earlier today. I work for the Roseburg Police Department. I believe this was an act of sabotage. I'm on the case. We don't know who did this. So far I've only found one clue. The remains of three tanker cars. Wait a minute. Did you say... tanker cars? Yes, tanker cars. What about them? Well, many years ago, I was a witness to an engine shed fire. It was very mysterious. Somebody burned down an Amtrak shed, and right next to the shed was tanker cars. I wonder if whoever did that fire back in the 90s is responsible for this fire as well. Hmm, interesting. I'll look into it. Well, this sucks. Now I'm gonna have to sleep in that old shed for who knows how long. Don't worry, Dominic. We'll bring them to justice sooner or later. I'm gonna be going over to Fort Smith today. I think they had some drones in the area. Who knows? We might have got them on tape. Have you decided who's going with you on your vacation this year? No, I haven't. I'm still trying to make up my mind. I'm not even sure if my vacation's even going to happen this year. I've been thinking about the fire at the main sheds. I think whoever started that fire did it as like a first statement. I think a lot worse things are on the way, so traveling might not be the safest thing to do. Good morning, Jake. Long time no see. Wow, Dominic. It's been so long. 
Last time I saw you, you were just a baby engine back in 1989. Man, time flies. It feels good to be back in Roseburg again. Yep, it's certainly been a long time. So, what do you think of Roseburg? You haven't been here for years. What do you think of the way it is now? I really like Roseburg. It's grown up a lot since I was last here. Back in the 1980s, Roseburg was like a checkpoint for trains on the way to Portland. But now it's grown into its own division on BNSF. It's really amazing. Great. Well, that's good to hear. So, have you met any of my friends yet? Yes, I have. So far, I've only talked to one of your friends. I talked to a Southern Pacific steam locomotive named Caitlin. She was really friendly, and she had something very nice to say about you. It was pretty cool. Interesting. What was it that she said? She said that you are as sweet as can be, and strong as steel. Oh, awesome. That's cool. But anyways, see you later, Jake. I'm going back to the sheds to take a nap. Okay, Dominic. It was nice talking to you again. See you later. Hello? Is anyone there? What happened? What's going on? Hello? Is anyone there? Anybody? Thank goodness, it was just a dream. So, have we found out who started the fire at the main sheds yet? No, but we're about to find out. Turns out I had a drone in the area at the time of the fire, so now we can find out who did it once and for all. I already have the tape in the player, but I wanted to wait for you to get here before I hit play, so we can find out together. Okay, excellent. Now we will find out who did this. Alright, roll the footage. Who is that? And what's a Norfolk Southern engine doing in Roseburg to begin with? Her name is Charlotte and she was the most troublesome locomotive in the Carolinas. Back when I was a police officer for CSX, I caught her doing many crimes. Stealing freight cars, vandalism, derailing locomotives, you name it. When I transferred to BNSF, she seemed to be getting better, but I guess not. I never thought she would go this far. She's the criminal. I don't get it. Why would she do this? I don't know for sure. But let's all be on the lookout so we can catch this criminal. Come on, hurry up! What's the meaning of this? It's 3 a.m. We're the only train scheduled to be on this track for another four hours. Why is the signal red? I don't get it. This is pointless. What in the world? I can see another engine coming. And he's on our track! Hey, look out! Stop! What are you doing? Hey! What do you think you're doing? Get me out of this cage right now! Where even is this? What am I doing here? Excellent! You're awake. Now all you have to do is answer three questions. If you answer these three questions correctly, you and your friend are good to go. Well, it looks like you guys are out of luck, because I'm telling you nothing. Well, you better shut up and get talking. If you refuse to talk, your friend is going to be no more. 
Okay, fine. I will answer the questions. What are they? Question number one. Where is all the gold? What? I don't know the answer to that question. The Santa Fe used that gold to pay for track repairs. I don't know where it is now. Well, that's too bad. Looks like your friend is going bye-bye. No, stop. Don't do this. Well, Bob, question number one was the most important. And you didn't tell us anything we wanted to hear. So, we're going to feed your friend the Rex. Phase two is ready to be put into action. You know what to do. Hey, 1989, isn't that the criminal we are looking for? Yes, it is. Catch her before she gets away. Okay, I only have two questions I need to ask you. My first question is, do you work for the Yellow Band? Okay then, if you think being silent is going to keep you from answering my questions, you're wrong. You better speak up. Come on, answer the question. Be a good engine and you'll get a free lollipop. I don't care. Oh, okay. So you do have a voice after all. Okay, I'm just gonna mark that first question down as yes. Here's my second question, and arguably the most important. Where is the Yellow Bandit? The Yellow Bandit is in Arizona. Well, that's a start. But Arizona is an entire state, not a town. Do you have a specific address you can give us? Sir? It's pretty obvious that she doesn't want to give us the Yellow Bandit's address. But I got an idea. Let's put some drones in the sky and start searching. We'll be able to find this base in no time. And once we do, we can plan a mission to rescue all the engines he's kidnapped and stop him before he does anything else. Okay everyone, now you all may be wondering why I've called you here today. I'm giving you guys two weeks off from work. It's too dangerous to be out and about these days. You may be wondering, where have Bob and Lily been recently? Well, they have disappeared and we have no idea where their current whereabouts are. But we do know where the Yellow Bandit is. The engines at Fort Smith put some drones in the air and we have found this location. Me and Fred are going to set out tomorrow morning to go to his hideout and try to stop him before he can plan an attack or do another kidnapping. Yes, this is awesome. I've been overworked for the past three months. Now I have two weeks with no work. Wake up. Can you hear me? Oh, <sighs> forget it. To be totally honest, I feel like doing work is entertaining. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for these two weeks. I guess I can just spend that time counting my money. This is going to be boring. But anyways, 
Be safe, everyone. It could be a risky next couple of days. Nathan's in charge while I'm gone tomorrow. Okay, we are getting closer. We must be on the lookout. So after all of these years, we finally see each other. I just don't get it. How in the world did you know we were coming? This is such a secret mission. Well, Dominic, for starters, I am not stupid. I have cameras up for the past 30 miles and radar, so I knew you were on the way about two hours ago. Well, I guess it turned out my secret mission was an obvious mission. By the way, I have captured your little precious Fruit Loop friend. Sorry, I couldn't stop them. What have you done? It's okay, Lizzie. I'll get you out of here in no time. No, you won't. I'm gonna get rid of you once and for all. And she's gonna watch it. You are never going to win. Good will always be evil, with or without me. That's what you think. All right, it's time. Push him in. Now that Dominic's gone, it's time for the final phase of my plan. Grant. Send the troops to the Rosebird. We're going to get my gold once and for all. Okay, now that was weird. This place is interesting, though. It looks just like Rosebird, but something doesn't feel right. Who are you and what are you doing here? This shed is for Union Pacific engines only. If you don't mind me asking, what year is it? This is 1945. Now that has to be the dumbest question I've ever heard. Who doesn't know what year it is? Do you not know what a calendar is? Uh, okay, thanks. I have one more question. Do any Southern Pacific trains come by here? And if so, do any Southern Pacific GS6 classes come by? Well, that's a specific question. As a matter of fact, they do. There's a Southern Pacific train sitting at the station a few miles from here right now. I can never remember the engine's name who's pulling the train today. I can only remember her number, 4460. Excellent. That's exactly who I'm looking for. I'm going to go up to the station right now. Hey, over here! It's Dominic. Remember me? We're friends, remember? Well, I guess she didn't remember me. That kind of makes sense, because we're friends in the present, and this is 1945, so, yeah. Guess I'm gonna have to find a way to get back home.
That is right. I am back. I am back in Roseburg. And I'm here for my gold. I'm going to count the three. And if you don't give it to me, we're going to have an issue. My plan, it's absolutely ruined. Who used this stupid airplane to begin with? Ha, we didn't even have to fire one shot. That one airplane completely ended your plan. Now it's time for prison for you, Stuart. This is not funny, and nobody calls me by my real name. It's the Yellow Bandit to you. Okay, Stuart the Loser. Hey, I am not a loser. You have the right to remain silent. The police are on their way to take you away to prison. Guess what, everyone? I have great news. Lizzie and Fred are on their way back to Roseburg. And Dominic is alive. He's alright. It turns out what the Yellow Bandit did to him was sending him back in time, and he managed to find a time machine to bring himself back. He's sitting at the sheds. Let's go see him this evening. Man, I'm tired. It's going to feel good to go to sleep. And I'm back home again. Oh, thanks everyone. This is awesome. I'm so happy to see all of you guys again. Hello everyone, what did I miss? Hey, Banana Wheels, I have a visitor for you. Do you want me to let them in? Sure thing, officer. Let whoever it is in. Whoa, I haven't seen you in years. Well, as you can see, I'm in a bit of a predicament right now. They say they're not going to let me out for another 30 years. So I'm going to have to sit in this trash pile until then. Please take my place. I know you can do it. <laughs> 